We are Austin and Sarah, and if you've been following the last couple episodes, we finished this beautiful run here for our chicken coop, but today is the exciting episode. Today, we are starting our chicken coop. The first thing that I have to do, though, is I have to start with a good foundation, a good base, a good structure. I'm gonna make sure everything is square, everything is level, everything is plumbed, everything is everything, so that we can start with the best possible base that we can. Let's get building. So everything is squared off. We have a perfectly square box here for our foundation and I'm gonna go ahead and start to mark off for the floor joists. We're coming along a real nice. We have our eight foot boards here. I'm going to cut these at 93 inches because the other three inches will be made up by the two by uh, eight by 12s. So we're gonna have a perfect 12 foot by eight foot box. I cut all these three inches. Let's get to cutting. And I love when a project just comes together. I'm not a professional carpenter, but it just is such a rewarding thing when you see the project work out like it's supposed to. I'm gonna go ahead now and start to throw on the floorboards here, or like the pieces of plywood that we're using for the floor. And uh, yeah, things are working out really good. use a chalk line just to make sure that we screw right into the joist here. These things are amazing. And just like that, the platform and the base is all up and it went up without a hitch. So I really can't complain about anything. Um, so far it's looking really, really good. The next step that we have to do is to throw up the framing for the walls. Um, I'm not gonna do that tonight though because we're losing the sunlight and I would prefer to have Sarah here helping with that. So we are going to wait um, for till tomorrow to work on the wall framing and yeah, that will be interesting because we have to frame in some doors, windows, uh, the nesting box, things like that. So we'll pick up then. We're back the next day. I got a fresh haircut. Still have hair on me. We're ready to build some walls. So the first thing I'm going to do is build the wall that is going to go up against the run and I'm actually going to tack the siding onto that before we even put it up so that way we can just put it up, we can drill it in, it'll be locked in, we'll have to paint it later but it's gonna be a lot easier if we do it that way. I just re-watched that clip and saw how wild my hair was. I look like Goku, but it's okay. We're building some walls. <laughs> All 
All right, we got all of the studs cut at the correct length, and now it is time to connect them and attach them to the bottom plates. This would be nice to have a framing nailer for, but we don't have one and we just work with what we got. So this is gonna go well though. Mom, if you're watching this, framing nailer, Christmas idea. Okay. Snack time. Love me some melons. So did you ever think we'd be building a massive coop two yeah. years ago? Yeah. When oh, we got two, married? Two years mm -hmm. ago? Trick question. I was like, uh, yeah, this has been in the works. Um, no, I don't remember what our plans were when we got married. I think I still thought we would live a normal suburban life yeah. when we got married. Yeah. If you don't know our story at all, we both grew up as city kids, lived kind of in the cities when we first got married, and then bought a random piece of property in a random city in Wisconsin that we had no ties to. Um, yep. But it's been a trip, a good trip. Mm -hmm. A journey for sure, figuring out this homesteading life and trying to be as self-sustaining as possible. And uh, yeah, no. I wouldn't want it any other way though. Me either. This is probably super slurpy. <laughs> I just like. We're gonna finish our melons. It's and a get back juicy to... one. Look at that. <laughs> and get back to building our walls. <laughs> So we got the first wall up and it went up pretty well, I think. It just popped right up and we put some, uh, I, don't, I don't know if they're anchor bolts, but just a really thick bolt in the bottom here. So this thing is not going anywhere and we have the supports. I'm gonna go ahead, we're losing sunlight, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and get one more wall framed up here. And it's gonna be the back wall that has uh, the window and the nesting box where the chickens will go and lay their eggs. So. One more wall coming up. Last night we finished um, framing the second wall, but we ran out of daylight. So I'm gonna go ahead tonight now and I'm gonna put on some uh, siding and then we are going to put our second wall into place. Thank you. 
have done it right there. Hold, hold tight. Hey, why are you here? For my muscles. <laughs> Ta-da, we have two walls done. It's kind of fun. It's like our own little kind of hideaway here. I'm gonna go and try and, what am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna try and frame up the third wall. Sarah has to take off, she has a meeting tonight, but I'm gonna try and frame up the third wall. We probably won't get it up tonight, but at least, uh, what do you have? What is that? Dog's eating something. Here we go, third wall coming right up. I just decided I'm gonna do this, and this might not be advisable, so if you're building a coop, I didn't tell you to do this, but I'm gonna cut about a foot off of this stud here, and then I'm going to frame this little area right here, and I think I can create some sort of door that like goes up, and in theory, that should allow us to clean out the coop easy, because then we can just set up like a tarp right here, and just sweep or shovel out the old bedding, and I think having that would allow us to do that. So I'm gonna to try to do that. <laughs> this is all like on the fly. I'm not following plans, but that just came to mind. And I think that is a worthwhile addition to this framing. So I'm gonna cut off like a foot here and then that'll allow us to frame this portion out. Let's do it. just had our first major setback of the project. I wasn't paying attention and I miscut every single one of the studs for this wall. I was thinking it would be easier to use this, the block from the previous cut as to measure where I needed to cut for the next stud. And me not paying attention, just grabbed the wrong block and cut, miscut nine of the 10 studs. So. Yeah, it's okay though. I think it's okay. I'm about three quarters of an inch short on all the studs. And what I think I can do is put a one by four on top, on the very top plate, and then at least all the wall, the tops of all the walls will be equal. The studs on the inside will look kind of funny because they'll be a quarter, three quarters of an inch short. But yeah, measure, cut or measure, what does it say? Measure twice, cut once. In my case, measure every time, cut once, but it's okay. It's part of the process. When you're not a professional, you're gonna screw up. And I'm clearly not a professional, so. You can probably tell we're losing daylight. I'm not gonna do what I did last night and work till it was completely pitch black. So I'm gonna go clean up and I'm gonna have some dinner and we will be back, probably not tomorrow, but I think the day after that. So we'll see you then. I just had to pick up the camera and show you guys. There is a crazy light show with lightning going on outside. back guys it's been a couple of days since we have been building and since we finished the last framing wall we had to take a couple days off because it was raining so hard one of the nights was just this crazy lightning storm and everything got wet and wasn't workable so we had to let things dry out but have no fear we're gonna finish at least one of the walls if not both of the walls today and possibly the roof i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna set up the third wall that we already framed out I have to be very careful though because I'm going to do it by myself and Sarah's not here, which is probably not advisable, but it's okay. I'm going to be very safe and I'm going to wait to put the siding up because there's no way that I would be able to lift it if the siding was on. So I'm going to make sure all of the, the supports are in place. I have uh, screws pre-drilled, so it'll be fine, but don't necessarily do this by yourself. All right, here we go. All 
we got all the support screws in on the ground and on the side here and this thing is solid I mean it's not not gonna go anywhere so I'm gonna go ahead I have to still put if you remember I had to still put that uh, three quarters of an inch top plate because I miscut like a dumbo and, uh, and then I'm gonna uh, tack the siding on here and then we'll have three of the four walls done so bingo bada boom baby here we go to the last wall, last wall, best wall, right? Can you hear that echo? Hello, hello. So this wall right here is gonna be the main entrance and it's kind of unique because it's gonna have two windows. So one, two, and then a door. And the door is actually, I'm gonna custom build a door, which that'll be interesting. But I'm gonna do the same thing I did with this wall here, is build the frame out first and then lift it up. And then I'm gonna put the outside paneling um, the siding on after it's a little bit tougher that way but it's what I have to do at this point so let's get to building that Alrighty, we have finished all of the siding, all of the walls are up, everything looks nice and sharp, and uh, yeah, it went up, you know, all things considered, went up pretty well. I can't complain, for sure. The last thing that I'm gonna try and get done today is to put up the rafters for our roof. Um, I don't love roofing, roofing, roughing, roofing. I don't love doing it, I just, I don't know. You have to be extremely precise with all of your measurements and all your angles, but it's a necessary evil in this build. So we're going to get to roofing. Everybody, we are back this morning on this crisp cold fall morning it's 50 degrees out and it's September only it's kind of crazy gotta love Wisconsin weather today's plan we're hoping to finish up the second side of the rafters for our roof and I think if we accomplish that that'll be uh, probably it for this video so we're gonna go ahead start getting our cuts in and trying to get the second half of the rafters up while I continue to wake up 
because it's an early morning. Let's do it. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out. We can leave this city. Let's drive to the ocean. Countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey, come on. Holy cow. Can't believe how much we've gotten done. And now all of the rough framing, putting the walls on, the siding, the windows even in, the rafters, the roof. It's all done. Can't believe it. We are cruising through this, and yeah, it just is getting me so excited that uh, we're gonna have this beautiful coop on the property, and our chickens are gonna be spoiled, and they're gonna love it. But hopefully, they will be safe, protected. We won't lose any more, and they'll have a more comfortable winter because um, this thing will be air sealed and ventilated, but air sealed and, and nice. And yeah. I don't know. I guess I'm just uh, just gra grateful right now. Just have a lot of gratitude that uh, able to do a project like this and enjoy it. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. If you uh, have watched the previous videos, you know kind of where we're started, where we're at. And uh, next week's video um, is going to be where we're going. And what's left to do is we have to put on. We're going to do metal roofing to match the run, so we have to put that on. Uh, I have to make a nesting box. I have to do a couple more cutouts for some of the windows that we're going to be putting in. I have to make a door, which will be really fun. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, paint, put some trim pieces on, and just some of the interior things. So there's still a lot to do <laughs> while I'm listing them off, but we are making awesome progress. So I just want to, again, thank you guys for watching. And my name is Austin. Sarah, Austin and Sarah, we have been on this homestead for a year and a half and we are really making it our own, um, especially with projects like this. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't seen the other videos, go back and watch those. If you want to check out next week's video, it'll come out on Sunday as well. But until then, peace.